Alex Hugo Guide and today we're going to check how to make this cool cyberpunk scene with the free models from Kid Bash 3D and of course you can download this scene by the end of this tutorial so you can follow along and the emphasis of this video is to show you how to use environment fog with aerial perspective and some smog in order to give a nice depth to your images, to your extreme long shots of uh, exterior renders. Okay, so first let's go and download uh, Kitbash 3D. They have a free package. If you go to Kits, you'll be able to download their free uh, Cyberpunk. They had a nice challenge here. Uh, I think they did already. A bunch of users submitted cool works. So this is really cool uh, free setup of uh, cities you can see uh, all of that stuff is uh, very detailed so you can get a really nice results and it's completely free so now back to our 3d model i've kind of arranged uh, this uh, those models and i added some flying uh, objects some spaceships so it will look more realistic and uh, let's activate our camera and uh, in the viewport I also did some little animation of those objects but I wasn't able to render it so um, let's just get down to the tutorial and see how this stuff works so if I click render you can see uh, that scene uh, it's looking good the lighting in general but it doesn't have a really good sense of depth so first thing that I like to do, I always like to add aerial perspective. That's the first thing that we're going to add. If you go to environment, uh, as you can see here, I'm using a very physical camera control, exposure control. That's for a regular camera. Um, I have two cameras in that scene. One is uh, up and one is down. So this is a regular camera and the exposure control meant uh, for that one. With the physical camera, you have a better control manual. So you can see here, I kind of scattered the um, the objects all around in order to get a little bit better depth for uh, my scene. Now um, I tweaked and I played a little bit with the sun. So let me show you some sun parameters here. So I actually wanted to get nice soft shadows. That's why I put 20 in the multiplier. And also, uh, I played a little bit with the turbidity on L zone just to get this nice effect. And then I also uh, did a little bit ground albedo here with the horizontal in order to get by horizon line uh, this nice solid color to match better my bluish, yellowish kind of perspective line. So let's go back to my camera and go into environment. I'm gonna add aerial perspective here that's the first thing that we're gonna add and we're gonna do some adjustments to it so let's increase the visible range somewhere about here and let's change the color to be a little bit bluish grayish and now let's click render see what we get All right so we're getting nice uh, bluish uh, mist to uh, our it's kind of looking like fog but it's more for uh, the aerial view in order to get that nice continuation so that's the first thing that I like to add I'm gonna stop it and let's add now Vira environment fog so upon this I'm gonna add Vira environment fog and here we're gonna do some adjustments so Let's make this fog color a little bit wider and let's increase the distance to be way further. So something about 2600. Now we need to do scattering GI and here fog high, let's bring it to 100. With this one, we need to experiment how high you want your fog to be and the rest is going to be by default okay so now let's click render see how this affecting all 
all right so we're getting nice white i think this more like a mist and the other one works more like a fog even though uh in environment this is what you get but uh, in my opinion this combination is something that needs to be always together in order to get that cool feeling of a depth now the last thing that i like to do is i want to add some smog here like all the way below the buildings and for that i'm going to add another uh, vray environment fog and here i'm actually going to call it vray smog so this is going to be the second one so this is the first that's the second and that's the smog now with the smog we need to do a little bit more adjustments so let's put the color into a little bit more white here we're gonna we're gonna do the color here actually so let's increase the distance to about 25 meters and the height let's put it about 17 so it's going to be really like somewhere here just on the building line a little bit above the ground now let's go and do the step size to 50 our texture is 4 and the rest we can leave by default now here let's add some noise And let's drag and drop the first noise here and let's do the adjustments so the first is going to be let's swap this and make it somewhere here and we're going to do it by world and it's going to be fractals Let's increase the size uh, and the phase is 1.4, the height is 0.43 and the low is going to be 0.4. The size is a little too small so 120 somewhere here would be really nice. Okay now let's do another noise for the density and this one is going to be 500 really big and I'm gonna do it objects XYZ fractals 0.47 on the height and on the lows 0.4 and let's do 10 levels okay here also let's swap this and I think we're ready to render our smog okay so let's click render all right and I already can see a nice thin line of smog filling up here in between the buildings in order to give this nice effect all right guys so you can download this scene below uh, test it out repeat those steps it's a nice uh, rig that you can use in order to get uh, foggy looking environments something like early morning um, or a smoggy city you know like this cyberpunk and uh, thanks to kitbash for letting us have those models and experiment with them uh, upload your stuff share it it'd be good to see what you guys come up with and if you like this stuff and you want to learn more go check out my v-ray next guide which got 50 tutorials with all the v-ray a to z functions and features including all the v-ray functionality in one class okay so thanks for watching this is alex your beery guy ciao